Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. Today is a pretty wet, miserable day, so we will not be running the sawmill again. Things just get too messy when it's wet like this. But what we are going to do is jump on the ATV, head for the bush, and go and see how bad the spring flooding is out there. As spring arrives, the bush transforms into a lush and vibrant landscape, teeming with life and energy. But with the change in season comes the threat of spring floods. The once tranquil ponds and streams that run through the property swell with rain and runoff and overflow their banks and turn parts of the bush into a swamp. The normally dry land becomes a temporary water world as the floodwaters carve new paths and reshape the terrain. Despite the destruction and chaos caused by these floods, they also bring renewal and rejuvenation to the bush. The water nourishes the land, replenishes it with essential nutrients and supporting the growth of new vegetation. My challenge is what to do about this to help protect the bush, but still not disturb the fragile ecosystem. My plan is underway. It's going to take a few years, but I'm hopeful that it's going to make a big difference. All right, folks, we are back at our future campsite here along the trail. Now it is wet. There's puddles and that kind of thing, but that's to be expected. That's not flooding so to speak that's just spring thaw so we're going to uh, have a look down the trail here to where we put in that pipe to divert the stream here uh, this is where the water drains down from up above and down this stream and just down there is where the pipe is so this is pretty wet and we're going to uh, have a walk up here uh, to have a look at what's going on. You can see there's water flowing from all over the place around here. Let's head up this way first. Now there is pretty much like a natural trail for the water to flow down. But as we get up higher, it gets more and more blocked and diverted. You know, I don't want it running down this way. I want it all going down through the stream. And then we get up here. Now this, I'm sure, used to flow quite naturally down here. But over the years, with the leaves and things building up, it's just stopped flowing, or mostly stopped flowing. And you can see everything is quite flooded back in here. And the results of that is that it's killing the trees because they just can't survive in all this water. And you get a wind come along the ground is so soft and so rocky that it just ends up blowing the trees over. There are just so many trees down in some of these areas just because the water is now trapped. It didn't used to be, but it is now. So I want to change that. So let's have a walk along the stream here, going down towards the pipe. Now come summer, this will pretty much stop flowing. 
So this is what I put in this past fall. And it does seem to be doing a real job. There is a lot of water flowing through there, as you can see. But there is no longer water pouring down the trail. Everything is now being sent off towards the bush. That's what we're looking for. This is working really nicely. We've got a little more work to do on this to properly bury the pipe and I got to get rid of this big rock. So this is the next area that I want to work on. I haven't really figured out exactly what it is I'm going to do here as we do have the melt that comes pouring down Dragon's Back Hill here and everything seems to meet up at this spot. So we no longer have water coming down here so that's good but we still have water coming down the hills and that kind of thing uh, to run down this trail. So I need to figure out what I am going to do about this. And I, I just don't have a solid plan yet. So let's go down here and have a look at the results of the flooding here on the south side of the property. And you can see all of the dead trees in here. And this is, this is just marsh. And that's fine, I don't, I don't mind the wetlands and that kind of thing. And I don't really know for sure what the source of this is. So what I'm doing is diverting the water down to this wetlands. And there is a, a really diverse ecosystem in here, partly because of the wetland. So I'm not doing anything to endanger that. What I will probably end up doing is cutting some of the brush along here a little farther over to allow me to continue getting the ATV through. As right now, I can bring it through, but it is mucky and I don't want to make things worse. I don't want to make great big deep ruts. So we've come to a bit of a cedar grove here and you can see a lot of these are dead. There's a lot that has come down. Now over to this side, this field that we're going past used to be, I believe, many years ago, all cedar, but it was logged out. And you can see there are stumps everywhere back in here. So I don't know how long ago this was done, but it was some time ago. And this is all just giant thorns that are growing up in here. I don't know what you call these, but they are nasty. I mean, just look at this stuff. You do not want to try and walk into this. Look at how tight this is in here. And there are a couple of vines that are growing as well. But this is all flooded back through here. As you can see, But at one point in time, this had a natural drainage area. And I can't even get back through here to show it to you. Uh, there is 
two low spots that lead off to a bit of a ravine that used to carry the water away here, but now it doesn't. And because it is always wet, there's just nothing that grows in here except for these crazy, long, nasty thorns. So it is one of my goals, and this is a big one, is to clear all of these thorns out of here somehow and replant this. Along with doing some work on fixing the drainage. So we'll go over and have a look at uh, where this is blocked off. So we're coming up to the ravine here that used to drain everything up there. And as you can see, this water is not going anywhere. And it's quite deep. That's over three feet deep in there. Now you get up this way and you can see why it's not flowing. Let's see if we can get around to this spot. Okay, so this is what has happened here. This natural ravine comes along. It's still quite deep, but then it stops. So we've got some rocks here and this bunch of trees that has grown up and it completely stops the flow. That's it. So my plan is to change this. So I want to get down here. Maybe I can get down here with the tractor. But first I've got to clear these trees out. And then I want to dig this back out. So I've got that one clump of trees and the root that's going to be there. And a couple, this dead birch I'm going to get rid of. And then I can pretty much dig a channel right through here to go down. And this will actually take it down to the road and it will get carried away in the ditch alongside the road. But boy, <laughs> that's a lot of work. But it'll be interesting. It's going to be fun to do. It's beautiful out here, and at the same time, it can be sad when you see this. And a lot of this, at least in this area, was aided by man with all the logging that was done all the brush that was left behind, all the debris left behind that slowly clogged things up so the water does not move anymore. This just sits here stagnant. All right, folks, I think that is where we're going to end our tour of the uh, flooded areas back here. I think we've covered most of them most of the bad spots anyway, and discussed what the plan is to address those. And as I said, it is a multi-year plan, but it's going to be fun to work on. It gets me out in the bush and gets me restoring this bush. So it is going to be a really big challenge taking care of this or getting to work on it. 
Now, if anybody has had any experience with dealing with this kind of thing, or have any, if, or if you've got any thoughts or suggestions, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. So, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, if you've been finding the videos interesting, or maybe a little bit entertaining, please give the video a like and share it around with your friends. Maybe they'll be interested in it as well. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we'll see you out on the trails the next time. Now we just need to try to get out of here.